Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you think the last episode was bad, you're gonna need a barf bag for this one. We have a new pair of freaks and I need to talk about them because it is haunting my brain. This is just gonna be a quick one, you guys. Meet Trevor and his giant mother-in-law, India. Bear, cub, bear type of type of thing. Yeah, yeah. that's what it feels like. Yeah, mama bear. It's yeah, mama bear. I'm mama bear. It's my <laughs> my son bear. We protect each other. Exactly. Trevor says that since they've met, they have been inseparable. They get ready for their date together. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real. Like oh, it's really so good. They make up dances together. <laughs> We cook together? We do. We eat, we feed each other. But nothing beats bingo. Yo, bingo night is like sacred at it this is. point. Every Thursday evening, we do a mother-son bingo night. So spending time with your mother-in-law is more important than spending time with your wife and children? You make me sick. Yeah, I'm disgusted by these two and you're gonna see why. And the lady next to him is his mother-in-law. <laughs> What is so funny? These two have definitely played Twister a time or two. You know what I mean? But it gets worse. I can't. You just called me a piece of <laughs> shit. Is that what she just said? Yeah, that actually happened. And the two of them are laughing about it. I did. <laughs> I did. It's funny that someone is calling your wife a piece of his mother-in-law. <laughs> it's, this, it's the same thing, right? No, to say I'm your mom. That's it. Why are you laughing? You're really not going to say anything? My husband and my mom are best friends and have the most weird, disgusting relationship. The fact that Trevor is putting all of his time and energy into his mother-in-law instead of his wife is disgusting in itself. But he lets anyone talk to her like that? And he's laughing? Me and my mom do not get along. I think my wife has a tough time accepting my relationship with my mom because... Because what? What's the problem? Of course he knows the two don't get along. And you have to put your spouse before your family, even your quote unquote friends. But that's what's making me so mad. It's clear as day that these two are not just friends. My mother-in-law and I have been close for a very long time, and her moving here has just forced us to get even closer. This show is absolutely atrocious, <laughs> but I need to know what happens with these two. Oh, and I didn't even tell you why she hasn't left him, because that was the obvious question for me. Why would she ever put up with this stuff? We have two toddlers. I'm super pregnant. So their relationship is just so annoying to me, honestly. They have two children together and she is currently pregnant with their third. Oh, and the mother lives with them. Oh, and it was Trevor's idea for her to move in. Perfect. I had hoped that her coming down here would help them be closer, get closer, yeah. okay. address a lot of their issues okay, and then move past it okay. together. Tell me your man is sleeping with your mom right under the same roof without telling me your man is sleeping with your mom right under the same roof. So now they're off to bingo with the rest of her senior friends. No, this is not okay. This isn't normal. And remember he said they look most forward to this all week. Look at that. Disgusting. I'm over this I'm done. Delisa's even started throwing mom's things out of the house in process of her living with us. As she should. She should. Shame on you for dumping gasoline onto this fire by allowing your mother-in-law to live with you while your wife is pregnant. Trevor does everything with me and he loves me as his mom. So nothing weird is going on at Bingo, right? Enjoying each other's company exactly. and like not having to worry or stress a good time for a few it hours. Is. Oh, you like spending time I with do. me. Whatever. This is a chance for you guys to make out and disguise it as eating. It's disgusting. Look at this. I'm gonna barf. Are you still here? 
Are you still watching this? You are a glutton for punishment, but you've earned my respect, lassie. Then the daughter calls him and she's like, please come home. You've been gone for seven hours. It hasn't been seven hours. You're being dramatic. And the entire time, the mom is just antagonizing her, like laying it on thick. She's touching him, she's feeding him, and then she tries to hang up the phone. Oh, not tries, she does. She hangs up the phone. We gotta go, we gotta go. Get off the phone, get off the phone. Baby, let me call, okay. Yeah, but let me call you back right after this game. Did you have to hang up? I think that this mom wants them to break up and she plans on Trevor being her sugar baby, he's going to be there to take care of her and support her because he just loves her so much. Like, I don't want to lose her but ever, but you know, I feel like, I don't know. I, I feel like she's not, she's not. Okay. So as I was watching this, I noticed that they have these talking head interviews with the son and mother-in-law, but they never have talking head interviews with the son and wife which tells me that he feels more comfortable being honest around his mother-in-law than he does his own wife. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> what? What did I do? Mama didn't teach you manners. What did I do? What did I do? What did Mama do? Okay, that's all I got for them. What do you guys think about these two? Hmm, I'm not going to be talking about Catherine and Gabriella or Skye and Skylar because they just seem like two mothers who were trying to live vicariously through their daughters and I don't really care. And then Ava and Sunny, they're pretty boring. I don't think I'm gonna be talking about them. I might talk about Kathy and Christina. They have a really cute relationship. Right now the mom is planning her own birthday party at a funeral home and I think that's hilarious. But the daughter's thinking it's possible she's doing that because Maybe she's trying to send a message that she's not going to be around for very much longer. I don't know. That would be like super dark. But yeah, what do you guys think? Would you like me to talk about them? Do you want me to keep talking about Smothered? Um, it's hard for me to take this seriously, but it is kind of funny. So let me know. Okay, <laughs> bye.